let's take a look at how we can turn percents into fractions. Um, basically, I'm going to show you two different methods. Um, you choose which one you like best. Both of them are, um, you know, pretty straightforward. It's just a matter of which one you prefer. And then we'll also take a look at turning fractions into percents. So uh, the first method is, is anytime you see a percent, take that number that you see in front of the percent sign and write that over here. Draw a fraction bar and always, always, always put 100 under it. So um, we've now made this percent into a fraction. You need to make sure you simplify it. If you've got a calculator, just pop in the, the fraction box, type in 17 100s, hit enter, and make sure that it is simplified. And this one, it is. Now this one, uh, we take the number, always put it over what? 100. And after we simplify it, we see that it goes down to 3 25ths. In case you're wondering how to do that manually, you know, whatever you can divide the top bottom by, or excuse me, the top number by, you can divide the bottom number by that same one. So 12 divided by 4 is 3, and 100 divided by 4 is 25. But again, if you're lucky enough to have the calculator for that portion of an exam or test, you can basically use the feature of typing in the fraction, hit enter, and it'll show you what the most simplified version is. Um, the This one over here, though, uh, we still will write 145 on top of the fraction. We don't change it up. We don't put uh, a different number on the bottom. It's still going to be 100. And, um, you know, once we go and, and we simplify that, your calculator would give you an improper fraction still, but it would be smaller, 29 over 20. If you know how to uh, make a mixed number, 20 goes into 29 one time. 9 would be left over and this would be your denominator. Also, again, we've discussed how we can use our calculators to make an improper fraction into the mixed number with this in lowest terms, um, but it does take a little bit of calculator skill. In fact, it takes about as much skill on this calculator uh, to go through all those submenus to get over here as it would be just knowing how to do this in your head. But again, uh, the choice is yours, and just remember, you're not always going to have that calculator. So that's how we turn percents into fractions using that method. Method number two, we're going to use the exact same numbers, the same percentages, and uh, basically it's it's this. If they give you a percent, turn it into a decimal, and then turn it into a fraction. So um, the percent to a decimal, that means we would move that decimal to the left two times, and that would make it 0.17. And we should remember how to make a decimal into a fraction. This is the hundredths. So I would put 100 on the bottom and 17s on top, and then we just simplify. So 12% becomes 0.12. 100 goes on the bottom because the 2 is in the 100th spot, and 12 goes on top, and then we simplify. So again, it gets us to the same location that we need to go. What about this one? Well, uh, we turn it into a decimal. We still just move it two times, okay? And then we make it into a mixed number. Well, if that one's in front of the decimal, that's your whole number. This is the hundredths. And then we simplify it. So that's the second method. It just depends which way you like better. Do you like making the percent turning into a decimal and then the decimal into a fraction? Um, that's all... Uh, older material, nothing really new there. Um, or we can just remember if we want to make this percent to a fraction, always put the percent over a 100 and then simplify it. No matter what we get, simplify it. And here's the last part of the lesson. How do we turn a fraction into a percent? Um, well, we have the fraction, you know, we've got that. Turn it into a decimal is the easiest way. And then from a decimal, turn it into a percent. Okay, so how do we turn it into a decimal? Three divided by four is 0.75. And then how do we make a decimal to a percent? We just move it over two times. So this would be 75%. Very important, we get the percent on there. Um, turn this into a decimal, four divided by five is 0.8. The whole number is six, so we'll put a six in front of that. And then we've got to move it two times, so it would be 680%. Um, 7 divided by 8, let me double check, I think it's 
Yep. 0.875. Top number divided by the bottom number gets us the decimal. And then again, we just slide it over two times. So that would give us 87.5. Don't forget the percent.